Good evening, everyone. Today we have advanced class on Friday night, and uh, we are going to talk a little bit about financial management. It's a good subject for us to get some hints or to see if we we are doing our best to have like the necessary things in our lives and stuff like this. Okay, so. What is financial management? Uh, does someone here has a idea what is this about? What how it works? That wanted to start sharing their experiences with us today. For example. Um, how can you create and stick to a budget? What is a budget? Budget is like um, extra money that you don't use to pay bills and you don't use for anything. You save this money, okay? You save this money for, um, I don't know, maybe an emergency or maybe for you to travel if you want to travel or something of the sort, okay? So starting here with Mr. I think Mr. Mr. Marcelo can begin with us today. How are you doing, Mr. Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. That's, that's very nice. Uh, Marcelo, how can you create a, to a budget? like? How can you save money? Do you do you normally save money during your your month? No. <laughs> no. But because because it doesn't last, you don't plan. Don't you have a plan to the future, like to travel or something like that? Yeah, like I, I always plan my futures. Mm. And how do you plan your financial stuff? Sorry? How do you plan your financial life, like your wellness? Wellness? Yes, your... Well, uh, I think it's not well known as wealthness. Yes, like a person that has a lot of money, for example. How do you manage your your income and your stuff to be able to travel every year? Mm. So I'm uh, I'm stopped to pay. Uh, <laughs> what do you stop to pay? That's stop to pay important things. Oh, uh, jeez. Uh, with his food chase. <laughs> ah. Well, unnecessary stuff. Not so there is. Uh, For example, what kinds do what kind of things do you consider unnecessary? Sometimes I food is unnecessary. Food? I food. I food. I food. Ah, the, the food servers. Service, yes, uh, like delivery service. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, How often do you do you order something on my food? Uh, no, uh, one times for a week. So one, once a week. One times. Yeah, for that, a week. That's good. That's not bad. That's not really bad. Oh. But what what do you normally order? Sushi, pizza, hamburger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pizza, sushi. Sushi. Mm. Do you like Japanese food? Uh, I like. 
is good, right? Why? What What's your favorite? My favorite food is massive. Uh, pizza, mm. no? That's very nice. Yes. Yeah. You know, I am on a diet, so I can't eat this kind of stuff anymore, right? So I, I torture myself, like, oh, what do you like to eat? And the person say, oh, I like to eat the hamburger. And I feel like, oh, I can't eat the hamburger. Like a donkey from Shrek, you know? I started to lament myself, like, oh, why did I do diet? So it's like... <laughs> I keep asking everyone about food and people say good things about food and I say, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny, but it's also sad, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, compli it's complicated. Um, what, what else do you consider unnecessary expenses? Besides food, like iFood and other uh, stuff. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, we have we have clowns, and uh, we go. Uh, to internet mm -hmm. and like a, cl a new clouds and and uh, I I feel interest for for that clouds, but I don't need need this okay ah uh, yeah i know i know when you see something that you don't necessarily need but it's like okay. on sale and you oh, wow this is good why don't i buy it yes yeah it happens with me but not with clothes it happens to me with games game right yes i don't need to buy a game because I have a lot of games to play. I don't need, but it's like from 100 for 20 bucks. And I'm, ooh, 80% of discount, you know? Yeah. And I, mm, I'll buy. And then I buy it and I, oh God, why? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> why did I do this? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes I put this. With clothes. Yeah, clothes. With things for the house, for example. Oh, look hey. at this. And a new a new mattress sheet. Oh, very beautiful. Why don't I buy it? A pot for my kitchen. No, dance the match. Yes, shoes are always like this too. Okay, um, let's see here on the another person. Um, who here has microphone? Please hey, raise your hand. I do. Okay, so, Mister, tell me, how can you create? I um, stick to a budget, like extra money to save, or don't you save money during your month? Do you try to save it or not? What's going on? Hello. Hello. Do you speak with me? No, I was speaking with another person that said I have a microphone, but they they vanished. 
Okay, let's see here. Uh, Washington, now you're there. Hey, teacher. Hello. Ah, uh, there we go. So tell me, Mister. Uh, do you normally save money? Yes, always. Always. So how do you make this? How do you manage and keep a budget? Because really, I try every month, but I can't save enough. How do well, you do it? Well, first things first, I make up a number in my head, like, let's say 100. The maximum mm -hmm. uh, amount I can spend. Okay, spend. you set a limit. Yes. So mm -hmm. whenever I want something or, you know, I always look at the lowest prices. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. That's a and, very good point. Mm. And when I wish, like, like, when I reach the limit, I stop spending. And what do you do when you reach your limits, like in the second day? Oh, that never happens. <laughs> really? I, How do you do it? I have self control. Oh, I tell good. myself, no, no more. This is very good. I have to practice this more time, like often. Like, I already reached the limit. Mm -hmm. But and it's I, like a, cre a credit card or is on cash only? Uh, credit card and cash. Okay. Okay, that, that your self-control is... I envy you, like, <laughs> wow. The only time I spent 100 was when I was buying a gift. And then, and then you stop for the entire month. You don't spend any more money. Yes. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. That makes sense. And um, what strategies? uh besides this one do you follow do you follow any more strategies to save money well besides always looking at the well when i spend money i always look at what's best at the lowest price you know mm -hmm. yes do you use any tools or do you search by yourself I search, like, uh, let's say I food, you know. Mm. When I when using using the app, I always look for a restaurant that allows coupons, you know. Like the vouchers for your company to eat. Yes, there's always uh, vouchers available on my food. So I search store store and see what's what's the best for the lowest price. Well, that's very nice. I have to check it out too. Do you like to go out often? Uh, no, I don't go out often. But, I, but when I do, it's always fun. Oh, that's very good. So you always check out for the vouchers and sales before going out. That's right. Mm, that's a good tip. So guys, if you want to go out with somebody or by yourself, you have to check your vouchers first. <laughs> it's a very good point. And um, how do you prioritize your financial goals? And make informed decision. Yes, for the savings and for like uh your planning, like for example, bills and stuff, do you save the money from the previous month or do you get your salary and then you already divided everything? How do you plan it? Well, 
I always pay my bills every month and then I save the rest. And to, uh, mm, continue, continue. To pay the next month. So that's that's very nice. Uh, have you ever like pick up a salary and you already had everything you had to pay from previous salaries and you got like the the entire salary for you just to save or not? Can yes. The question. I, I... Repeat the question. For yes. example, um, imagine you were going to receive next month. Okay. Mm, yes. Uh, and but you saved a lot of money from previous months. So mm -hmm. when you get your salary, you don't need to use that salary to pay any bills because you already have the money to pay it. Got it? Yes. Has it ever happened to you? What has happened to me? This situation of receiving your salary and don't needing to use the money for paying bills, just to save. Ah, yes. Oh, that's very nice. I I want to reach this point in my life too, one day, when I grow older, you know? Yeah. When I when I when I become an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Uh, let me see here another person to ask another question. Let me see. Uh, oh, this is going to be good. Fernando, are you there? Hey. Hello, mister. So, uh, you are 16, right? Right. So... Uh, probably you're going to start thinking about your financial life and stuff and how do you want to spend your money and time. So tell me, do you have any tips or like any strategies that you are studying to manage your money? Uh, no. I don't no. Saying this. Oh, God, it's good to you to think, to think about it, you know. You never worked, right? Uh, yes. No. No? So, okay, good. So, it's good for you to think, like, to study a little bit about uh, economy. Like, not necessarily about the country economy and blah, blah, blah. Just, like, personal stuff, you know? Like, oh, if I get... Uh, a thousand reais every month for my first job. I'm going to save like 400 and the rest I'm going to spend with myself. Going out with my friends, uh, buying things that I want, you know? Right, right. Uh, it's good for you to think about little things about that, okay? So, but... <clears throat> Thinking now, like, the first thing that comes to mind, what is the, do you think is the best division for money? Like, pleasure stuff, uh, and necessary stuff, and, I don't know, um, other things. Uh, what's the percentage that you think you should divide your money? into these situations, in these categories? Eu acho que eu separaria uma parte para pagar conta, uma parte para guardar, para emergência, e daí que sobrasse, eu usaria para comprar alguma coisa que eu quisesse. Ok, so, about percentages, like, how much, how many percent of a hundred is going to be for, for example, Buying stuff that you want, mm. and and how much would you save? I would say, uh, I think fifty or seventy-five percent. Save seventy-five percent. Uh, maybe. 
Wow, that's the a huge percentage. And the the rest twenty five you you spend as you want. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's very nice. That's very good. And um, let me see here what other things. Mm. Oh, this is one good for you too. Do you plan to retire someday? Ah, isso. Está falando de aposentadoria? Yes. The ah, last question tempo. there. So, are you thinking about retiring someday? I know that you don't work, but one day you will. Eu penso em so, me aposentar até da escola. Hum. Hum. Oh. Que daí eu não vou ter mais aula, daí eu não vou ter que me preocupar com aula. Ok. Ok. So, ok. But you have to go to the, you know, the market, like, to work, not necessarily just to study. Ah, so you're é. going to you're going to retire from school. Like you don't need to study anymore if you don't want to, but you have to work and you have to pay taxes. And uh, uh, someday, probably you're going to become an old guy and you need to retire. Ah, foi nesse sentido. Eu não tinha entendido a pergunta. Ah, no problem. Tá, pode explicar melhor a pergunta? Sure. Uh, do you have any plans to retire? Have you ever thought about it or not? No, I didn't. No? No. Okay, no problem. You're too young to think about it. Don't worry. Uh, let me see here. Mr. Daniel, are you there? Rafa, are you there? Do you have a microphone? Okay. Rafael Santana, do you have a microphone? Okay, I don't think so. Ariel, do you have a microphone? Oh, God. Okay, so it's just me and uh, Washington and Marcelo and Fernando for today, okay? So let me see here. Um, Marcelo. How do you prioritize financial goals and make informed decisions? Like, um, what do you put first in your debt list? What comes first when you when you get your money and you have to start to pay your things? I put first uh, education. Mm -hmm. uh, Principalmente uh, my son, my, my daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, Your kids' education, uh, good. Yeah. Uh, uh, investments. Uh, mm, that's good. Yeah. Like a uh, house, no? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. No terreno, não sei, não sei como é que é inglês, terreno. It's like uh, lands, yes? Yeah. Uh, yeah, is this. Okay, and after that? Um, uh, uh, travels. Travel. This, this is good. We, my family, like uh, travel. You like uh, traveling. That's very nice. We can go. We stay 
stay Chile uh, oh, for, to Chile. for 10 days. 10 days in Chile. That's so good. That's so nice. Uh, it was very cold travel. It's 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 uh, winter in there too. Sorry, is winter in there too, yeah. or because yeah. of altitude? No, no, uh, uh, inverno. Uh, it's winter there. It, it is, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Does it have snow? Oi, sorry. Does it snows there? Snow. I, yes. Yeah. Ooh, that's it. It is it beautiful? Cause I I I never went out to cold places no. that snow. No, never. I never. It was my only first time. It was your first, first time. time. That's very cool. Did did you did you play on the snow or are you just like okay we are adults don't want to. No 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 I don't want. To. Oh come on you have to pick up and make a snowman. No 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 never never more. Why don't you don't like cold? It's more it's uh, more uh, it's difficult. It's so Did difficult. You? I didn't know that. Because I, I never I never I never went to a place that snows. So I have no idea how difficult it is. For me, it's like all that American ex uh experience, like, oh let's build a snowman, oh, and playing with kids on the streets and throw snowballs and blah blah blah. You know? In the Rask is terrible. <laughs> really? Oh, God. I have to try this one day. Yeah. I'll ask a friend. I have a friend that he lives in Liverpool, I think, and there it's snow sometimes. Uh, I'll have to ask him. Um, oh, how do you... Um, what are some ways to reduce... I think this is the same question as before like avoiding using for iFood and stuff. Mm, do you have any other stuff that you consider unnecessary that you can put on a list for us? Besides uh, ordering food, is there anything else? Do you think like Netflix, Disney Plus and services like this are necessary? Mm, to reduce that? Uh... Yes, no? entertainment. Yes, do you think it's uh, sometimes. Sometimes. always but, necessary but, uh, to pay about it or not? Sometimes, uh, Sorry, sometimes you, you, we, mm. sometimes we uh, I, my my family we uh, stay in house for. Uh -huh. Or I can reduce that uh, in, in, in night, for example. Mm -hmm. So like not, to, not, mm, so, not to go out and stuff. Uh, do you often go to the cinema, you and your family, or not? Sometimes, yes. My film, in, in the moment, my, my wife and my daughter... Uh, are in the scene. Ah, they are watching Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, really? That's so good. The I'm going to watch it tomorrow. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Uh, Do you like to go out to concerts, like bands and uh, uh, theater, or not? Yes, yes, uh, I like, uh, but in Manaus, uh, oh, some some rhythms, I don't like to like a boy, no? Do you know boy? No, never heard of it. What is that? Boy, boy is a 
de mudança em, é, é, característico de Manaus, né? Oh, never heard of it. Uh, I always heard uh, of, yeah. I don't know, tango, samba, and frevo, and that stuff, but boy, never heard of it. I thought it was an animal. I, 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 existe um, um, uma cultura, cultura, não, mm -hmm. é, não, entendo? Like, bo, boi garantido e boi caprichoso. Mm. É, It's like a different steps of dancing? Yeah, e a rivalidade, né? Uh -huh. Do you know Parintins? No. I, I don't know, sorry. I am really, really bad at the cultural stuff. No problem. Parintins is a city of Amazonas mm -hmm. where, where a origin, a original boy, a origin of the boy lá. Mm. Last month, uh, was festival Parintins. Fest a festival there? Oh, that's good. Is there a competition? Yeah. Oh. Who won? Sorry? Who was the victorious? Uh, the, 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 the year was Caprichoso. Caprichoso. It, does it has like uh, you know, like Brazil, we are like, I think it's, we have the World Cup for football. We had five titles, yes. Does Caprichoso has more than one title? Yes. Oh, that's good. How many titles does it have? Uh, I don't know. Don't know? Okay, no problem. But it's very, very nice. I didn't know that they had like dancing competitions there. It's very yeah. cool. I the only the only like dancing competition I know uh, I had it was on uh, you know when we have in June we have festivities. Uh, June. On June, yes, like for people to uh, normally schools they since May or April they start practicing with the students for like a dancing kind of presentation every year for what we call in Brazil Festa Junina, yes? Yes. And I used to dance in all the classes, all the years. For eight years, I danced in Festa Junina and it was very good. Nice. I like oh, nice. I liked I liked a lot, nice. but then I get and then then I get old and you know it's yeah. <laughs> nice. we stopped doing this stuff, but it mm -hmm. was good because I didn't have to do like extra homework because I was going to dance you know like to avoid doing extra homework I go there and practice to dance. Yeah. And I enjoyed it. It was good. Nice. Let me see here, Mr. Mr. Washington. Are you there? Hey, Peter. I'm here. That's your time now. You say that you save a lot of money. That's very good. And But how do you prioritize your financial goals? Like, how do you set, like, oh, uh, first, I have to pay this. After, I have to pay that. Well, I like paying uh, early. You know, like the first thing I do every month is go pay my bills. And that's that. Mm -hmm. All your bills? Oh. At the, in the same day, like, okay, received today, everything is paid. Good. Yes. But so, imagine a hypothetical situation, okay? I, I don't want this to happen. Don't think about it. But okay. imagine you receive less money than you were expecting. What do you pay first? Well, if I still have the left the money from the other months, then I, I pay. Okay, but 
in a hypothetical situation where you have limited amount of money and you wow. have to choose you have to choose one thing like oh this i cannot pay this month what would it be well i prioritize uh prioritize uh what i need Ooh. so i make the decision and mm -hmm. and the other thing well uh not like it's ever gonna happen uh, I don't know how to respond to this one. You're giving me a lot of limited limited choices. It's like this, for example. Um imagine you sign for Netflix, Spotify, um some Never. extra extra services. You don't pay it. No, I don't pay extra, extra you, services. You don't you don't use this this kind of entertainment. No, I, I, they always, uh, <clears throat> wait a minute. Okay, don't say anything illegal, okay? Mm -hmm. the, the only time I use this kind of service is when I, I'm at someone's home, like my father's or mm. uh, my aunt's. Got it. Like family sharing, yes. Yes. That's good. That's a good way not to pay it. Sure. I'll have to I'll have to try to find a, a relative that pays these services so I cannot need to so I don't need to pay it too. But even then I hardly use Netflix or these services. Mm -hmm. What do you normally do for entertainment? Well, I I watch videos, I go out, uh when the family wants to go out somewhere, mm -hmm. then take a walk uh, in a park that's really close here. That's, or, uh, that's very good. Or go for a swim in the beach or in Sask, he, which is really close where I live. You know Sask? Mm -hmm. Sask? Yes. I know. Is is it like a... a... Is specific for a specific city or does it have like hmm, a lot of places? Uh, Sask is like a lot of things in one place. It, there's hmm. a school, there's a um, aquatic park, there's a game. Yeah. That's very nice. I know, right? That's, that's very good. Wait a minute. Do you live in the... I think you live in the same city as I. Manaus? No, no. Forget it. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no way. I am far, far down the country. Uh, no. <laughs> That's impossible. But I uh, good to know. I didn't know that this one was like a franchise. You know, like it has a lot of places that has this this kind of club is a club right yes it's like a club okay it's like a club and then you have a lot of services so you can use yes is does is it very expensive to be a member no it's like 20 reais 20 20 reais yes for a month no yeah, it's for various months, and when it expires, you pay again. Okay, like, uh, oh, it's 2,000, and you divide in, I don't know, 100 parts. And then you pay it, and when it expires, you start to pay again, like a signature. Yes. Yeah, and that's okay. I think it's good. So, as soon as you can go... And use any service you want. Yes, fair enough. Yes, and it really really helps because to go because to people who don't have the uh, membership, mm -hmm. they have to pay fifty reais. 
<laughs> each person to go to the aquatic park. Jesus, this is expensive. And if you have the membership, then you only have to pay 10 reais per person. Wow. Ah, but you are already paying a subscription, so kind of the same price, but a little cheaper. No, it's not the same price because imagine paying 50 reais every time you go there. Oh, every time is not for the month? Uh, no. Uh, oh, God, this is bad. Per person, 50 reais per person. Jesus. So oh god, no, it's very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. It's expensive than a cinema. Yeah. A cinema movie. Yeah. That's it. So you pay like 20 bucks every month for no. a limited time, and then you pay like only 10 for to go to the swimming pool, for example. If you already are a member. Yes. Oh, that's very good. Good ways to have discounts. This is very nice. Uh, let me see here another person. Who were talking here? Ah, Fernando. Fernando, tell me one thing. Uh, how do you entertain yourself? Like, what services of entertainment entertainment do you consume? I consume TikTok, YouTube, Twitter sometimes. Twitter. I heard that Twitter is a land without laws. Is that true? No. People think it is, but it's not. It's not. Okay. So Elon Musk can delete your account if you do something wrong. I In there. think yes. You know, I had an account on Twitter. When I used to do live streams, I had a Twitter. And I had a bot, not that illegal ones, but I had like uh, an account on a service that every time I went live, the bot sends on my Twitter like, hey, I am li live streaming right now. Come and check it out. You know, like a specific message. And then... Twitter blocked my account because I didn't use it for anything else besides warning people. And then Twitter said, oh, look, here's a bot. Let's delete this account. And I can't log in anymore. It was a very sad story. Oh, that's, that's really sad. But I managed to create another one. So huh, back again in the game, boy. But I'm not using there because uh, I don't know how to use Twitter. How does it function? You mean for uh, professional purpose or no, not nec or... not necessarily. But how can you use this situation? Because everything I heard about, I hear about Twitter is like, oh, did you see? That that famous person said something wrong about some situation, and look, this guy got cancelled. Or oh, did you see that person said some stuff, bad stuff, and now everybody's hating him. And I was like, wow, what a beautiful place to live in. Is everything I hear? Uh, so it depends a little, it a little on the bubble you are. Uh, what kind of entertainment content do you can can you find on Twitter? You can find games, art. You can find people <laughs> talking about political. Oh, uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, how can I say is a sensible subject to talk about. Yeah, you're right. Uh, eu sempre evito falar de política, eu odeio falar yeah, de política. Yeah, it's good to avoid, yes. Because if uh, you start, sometimes people don't, they are not going to understand your point, and they are going to start to fight. This is not good. Uma coisa que pode arruinar a sua vida de um dia para o outro. Yes, maybe, yeah, sure. 
is <laughs> a possibility too. <laughs> it's uh, really, it, it happens all the time with a lot of people, especially if you are famous. Yeah. Yeah. If you are yeah, famous yeah. and you say something bad about someone and this goes viral, be sure that you're going to be canceled. It sounds a little scary to you. Yeah, because you, it's not like, oh, you have to have freedom of speech everywhere. But there is some times that you just say, like, for example, Oh, you know, I don't like to eat lasagna. This is all you said. And people say, oh, come on. How can you like lasagna? And then start a very big discussion. Like completely unnecessary. Yeah. Because of lasagna. <laughs> you know? So Acho you can que... find... Mm. Wait. I think you said... Fala... Feijão não é por cima do arroz, daí os caras começam uma discussão enorme. Yes. Biscoito é bolacha. Yes. Aí chega, chega um cara e fala: não, o feijão é do lado do arroz, é todo mundo ficar quieto e sem reação. Porque é acostumado com o de cima e o de baixo, só tem do meio. <risos> It's very complicated. Ok, then. I think our kind of uh, speech for today is. Okay, it's good. It was we had a lot of profit about it. Um, guys, so I would like to thank you all and uh, appreciate all your participants. Okay, everyone who could participate today, I really appreciate you. And uh, I'm going to stop the recording now, and we see each other on the next class. All right, guys. We have some other subjects to discuss about, but we are going to bring them in the other classes. Thank you very much, guys, and I see you all next to class. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. See ya.